Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. I'm Brittany Schaefer. Today I'm joined by Dr. Green and we're here today to talk about Triple E. So my first question for you, doctor, is why is Triple E so concerning? Triple E is a very rare disease, but when it does occur, it is quite deadly. In fact, 30% of people who are infected with Triple E die. And of the people who do survive, the vast majority have mild or major neurologic sequelae. Um, and many of those people then die at a later time. So um, although rare, it is, it is obviously very concerning. And what are the symptoms? There are actually two forms. There's, more, there's a systemic illness that can happen where you might have fever, body pains, joint pains, um, and just feeling really awful maybe some nausea and abdominal symptoms. And those people will be sick for a week or two and will get better. Um, and probably will never know they had Tripoli. But for people who get neurologic disease, it's an abrupt onset of a high fever, body pains, that can really rapidly go to uh, change in uh, consciousness, seizures, uh, vomiting and, and, and death. And what are the lasting effects of a Triple E infection? In a lot of individuals, they will have some element of neurologic uh, sequelae, which can range from mild to some memory issues or word finding issues to not being able to communicate at all or being in a persistent coma. If they have a vaccine for a horse, why isn't there one for humans? Triple E is very rare. So um, it We've had four cases so far in Massachusetts this year, and really, um, in, since it's been discovered, there have only been 100 cases. So those numbers don't really justify a vaccine. You'll be exposing a lot of people to a vaccine who don't need it. But why is the activity so intense this year? That's a good question. It's a million dollar question. I don't think anyone knows. So the epidemiology of triple E is that it seems to cycle and it's based on the mosquito that transmits a disease. Um, and so it typically will go mosquito to bird and mosquito and man and horses are what we call dead end hosts. And so we're not able to pass the virus on. We just get infected kind of by accident. What should people do to avoid exposure? The ways to avoid exposure are to not be outside from dusk to dawn, um, to cover up as much skin as possible with clothing, long sleeves, long pants. If you have to be out, you can actually treat your clothing with uh, permethrin, which will prevent mosquitoes biting through your clothing. Um, and then for any exposed skin, they should use a, an EPA regulated uh, mosquito repellents such as DEET or picaridin. Can a person be infected by a horse? Man and horse are dead and hosts, what we call, so we don't replicate enough virus to reinfect a mosquito. So only the mosquito is able to infect the horse or the humans.